Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and we're moving to the mountains. I am really excited to start building on the mountains today. I really love the mountains, and it's nothing against the swamps. This is not a real complaint, but like, the swamps are pretty flat, and I really love building into the environment. And the mountains give us so many, like, ups and downs and different viewpoints and cool little trails to make, and... It's going to be a lot of fun, and we're going to make some really cool builds. I've scouted this mountain. I've got some cool ideas in mind, but we're going to start really simple because we're just getting to the mountains. This will be our first build in the mountains, and I like to do 10 builds per biome. If you're brand new to the build through, the quick little premise here is that uh, we've started in the beginning of the game, and we started building from there to here. Each biome, I did 10 builds in each biome, and we're only allowing ourselves to build with uh, materials that we would be able to find in each biome. I've only broken that rule once to give myself a little bit of uh, wolf carpet so that I could just throw some different carpets around. And I think we started doing that somewhere around the mid of Black Forest builds. Uh, and, and, and yeah, I, I admit, we, you know, you could definitely hunt wolves at that point. It would be very risky, but you could do it. I just wanted to mix it up because I, I, really, I really didn't realize that you really don't get any more carpet or anything until now, until the mountains. And this being our first build on the mountain, I do want to keep it simpler and smaller, and we'll get bigger and crazier and more complex as we go. So, today we're going to build a pretty cool little simple log cabin. And we've done log cabins before in the Black Forest, but I really love the look of log cabins up here on the mountain. I kind of want to see if we can give it a little bit of a basement, too. We'll see how much of the mountain we're able to pick out. Um, but yeah, I've got a really fun spot picked out. It's a really tiny area with a small yard, so this is going to be really compact, pretty cozy, and I'm really hoping that it turns into like a really simple, comfortable log cabin. Let's go ahead and take our run up there, shall we? <laughs> we almost made it in one go. Uh, this is not actually the spot. I just built this up here as a spot to, you know, fix our hammers. Always set up a nice little spot for you to get a rested bonus and to set up a little cabin, or set up a little, yeah, a little workbench while you're hanging out. But the spot I'm thinking of today is right here. I love this spot. There's rocks above us. We've got this big rock kind of like sectioning off this whole area for us. The trees are going to have to go. We may replant the trees. Actually, I'll try to keep those if I can. And uh, my plan is to probably go with this height. I really like this height right here that I'm standing on. And I'm going to try and just build this back into the mountainside as best as I can. And we're going to build our cabin there with this view, which is fantastic. Oh, it's kind of a bad time of day to see it, but if I change the time of day, then the snow gets really, really bright. So we may do some flybys in different time, different times of the day, but there's a beautiful mountain there. Um, we'll have to change up the time of day a little bit. I found this time of day to be uh, the least harsh to look at, but also the brightest and easiest to see what I'm doing. So this was this felt like the good time of day to share. Anyway, I'm rambling way too much. Uh, I guess just before I go, if you are new to the build through and you find yourself enjoying it, do me a favor, smash that like button. It sure helps me out a whole bunch. But before I get too carried away with any more of that crap, let's just go ahead and start building. I've got to flatten this whole area out as much as possible. Like I said, I'm going to go with this height. So let's start trying to shape everything to about right here. And I'll bring you back in a little bit because this is just going to take a little bit of time. So, uh, you know, cue that beautiful, happy music, and uh, let's start shaping the ground. Oh, it's a good day. I'm so excited to build in the mountains. The mountains, they're so varied. There's just so much going on here with elevation. I'm so excited. Before I get too carried away in this, if you're playing with mods, you can definitely use the plan build mod, which is amazing, and it's awesome, and Valheimians knows all about that. Go check out Valheimians, the website, if you haven't. It, it's a beautiful wonderful community lots of amazing builds there i'm really behind on updating stuff there uh real life has just been crazy and i've been focusing on the content i know i probably said this in the last build video and i am getting around to working on fixing and updating a lot of the valheimian stuff uh it, it hasn't it hasn't left my mind hasn't crossed my mind and i know i haven't gotten everything done on there but i'm, I'm working on it we're working on it still uh just bear with me and, and thank you so much you know for everything thank you guys for watching <laughs> I'm just going to say that a bunch lately. I don't know. There's something about starting a new biome. It feels like a first episode. <laughs> All right, I'll shut up and get to work. Hang on. Okay, so we were going to make a log cabin today. We're going to do something like this. And we're going to do 
do something. Uh, and I, I was going to put the floor here on top. Um, and we were going to make kind of a grid work. So there's a little bit of a spoiler for you. We're going to get around to that eventually. I'm trying something here, though. This was not part of the original concept, but I'm kind of thinking it's going to be great if I can pull it off. And I just want to share with you how I'm going to do it. Okay, that seems a little low. Now, I have to build this up a little bit more. Alright, tiny bit of ground shaping here just to get this all leveled out. Let's go ahead and pull that back down a little bit. Oh, maybe too much. Nope. Nope. There we go. Yeah, still supported. Alright. So we're looking at about this height right here. Let's go ahead and just pull that up all the way around as much as we can. And that does look like the direction we're going to be looking and facing with this cabin. So I guess I need to kind of shape this a little differently. I cut this out. Maybe I cut it wrong. Well, actually, actually, I could shape this a little differently. Yeah, I kind of want to look square out that way anyway, just like the way it's facing. That's kind of really nice. All right, a little, little bit more shaping needs to be done here. I'm going to make this work. All right, we're going to try and go... Yeah, we're going to try and make the cabin go right along the edge of this. So we kind of want to build it... I'm thinking we're going to start right here. I'm hoping this is enough to go too back. Oh, it is. Actually, let's pull it back a little bit more. Let's use this as our starting point as a reference. But I'm actually going to pull it back right up against the wall. Right, we're going to put it right up against that wall. Beautiful. Oh, that's going to look awesome. Even give ourselves just a little bit of walking space out front. I really like that. That's going to be great. Uh oh, it seems like we're floating just a little bit. I may go back and take care of that by adding in some extra just lower level pieces. Because I really like where it's at right now. So I really don't want to change anything about it. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this. We've got two. We're going to go four across, I think. Maybe even five. Yeah, we'll go five. Look at that. I really wanted to leave these trees in here. Well, that's going to be... Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of that. Yeah, darn. Do I need five? I don't think I need five. Five seems a little big. I guess, you know what? Let's go for it. Let's make it a little bigger. I know I said I was going to go pretty small. And we were going to start really simple and really small, but... And this won't be too huge, I don't think. It's not going to get too crazy. Here we go. We're going to start throwing on our flooring. Yeah, because when it comes to building with these uh, with these pieces of core wood, with these big logs, I really like to... I like to build like this. Uh, snapping it down right against the floor, I don't know. I just don't like it as much. Um... Not to say that it's not nice. I've done it before. I definitely have. But uh, lately, I've been really digging this for some reason. Just having it raised a little and having it be, you know, just a little higher. I don't know why, but I really like it. So we're going to go ahead and call this our first main floor. There we go. Man, that looks awesome already. Look at that. All right. So now we want, I want a little porch. So we're going to have, we're going to extend this out. At least one. Gosh, I might even go one and a half. There it is. Perfect. We do the same thing we did under the house. And we'll go ahead and floor this as well. I kind of want to floor it a different direction because this is a different section. Um, I'm messing with that too. I usually try to do some pretty fun uh, floor patterns, or I used to try, but uh, I'm not going to lie. With all the clutter I like to put in the house... You end up never seeing the patterns I put down. Alright, we're going to try something a little risky, a little crazy. But I really, really like this idea. And it wasn't part of the original idea. I just kind of had this idea a second ago. And uh, I'm kind of really excited about it. But I could very easily mess this build up right now. Um, you know me, I like to take risks. <gasps> oh no, let's do this. <laughs> Okay, we got to do this carefully now. We want to keep nice straight edges. And there's the porch. So this is just the front part of the house. So we're going to bring it in even a little bit more. There's the line I'm looking for on the, on the left-hand side. 
we can go back another hit or two right here I'm not gonna go any further back than that yeah because that'll be really close to the edge of what we can build under Ooh, careful oh right there looks like the edge of what we can do anyway so that works out We're gonna keep support up top. We're gonna keep support. It's gonna happen. This is gonna be. This is gonna be really cool. I hope this doesn't mess up, man. <laughs> I always have these ideas so late. All right, now we're gonna chop this way, and I'm gonna get it right up against the side. There we go. Well, this just got so much more elaborate than I had originally planned. <laughs> I just had a normal cabin in mind when I started this. This is this is wild. Now look at this. We've got an entire little basement here go ahead and try and fix this up just a little bit. There. That just needed to happen. I hope that didn't do anything to the inside. No. No. We're good. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is so cool, actually, already. Like, look at this little basement we have. Ah, oh, part of me wants to pull the back wall back a little bit more. I don't want us to drop out of support. I'm going to risk it. That very well may be the very back back idiot part we can do. I'm going to go ahead and just pull that line over. Oh, it's not letting me too much. Yeah, we might not be able to build all the way down to the ground down here. Okay, we're going to leave it like that. Yeah, that's not letting me chop it down anymore. Okay, so yeah, so the solution, we're going to we're going to we're going to work with a floor that's a little raised down here. It'll be fine. Oh my gosh, this is so cool actually. I'm loving this already. All right. So, let's get up here. Beautiful. All right, I want to start throwing up the log cabin walls. And we're going to go ahead and make the outline first so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'll get to the repetitive uh, staggery placing here after I show you what we got what we got going on. There we go. Very simple outline. And I saw the entrance being here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and put a four meter beam in there. I saw the entrance right here. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this. Um, I'm going to take this flooring piece. Well, things are different now. I, I've changed things. Hmm. All right, new plan, new plan, new plan. <laughs> so let's start building up the walls here. Um, I need to get these staggered. I'm going to start with the back wall because it's going to be the easiest one. And to get myself started really quickly, I always like to just do this up at least as tall as I am allowed. And actually, yeah, bouncing it off the, oh, nope, that's still not gonna work, okay. There we go. I think that's how tall I wanna go for the walls. Cause I do wanna keep this a little squatter. Like I said, we, were, we weren't trying to go crazy uh, today. It just got, I just got carried away. I always do that. Apparently I have I have been quoted. I have heard some of the, the digital wanderers tell me I do this. <laughs> uh, that I always say I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna build something. We're gonna keep it small and then I don't. And, you know, this ends up happening a lot, so. Here we go. All right, you see the pattern here? We're just staggering back and forth, keeping it real simple. Let me go ahead and just build this whole wall up. Nice, we're gonna go ahead and wall ourselves off some doorway right here. I wonder how that's sticking out through the bottom downstairs. I'm gonna go check that out real quick. It's not really. That looks fine. We're gonna leave it like that. All right, back upstairs. Yeah. All right, next I'm gonna try and go for a slightly lower roof. So we're snapping this at kind of a low point and really only building up another little tiny bit. Um, I'm only doing that to build down a little bit and I, I, I like over snapping a little bit. It makes things look a little uneven. I like that, um, but it also builds it down right there in the bottom right hand corner. You can kind of see it um, kind of just builds it down into the logs a little bit better and I like that. So we're gonna build like that. Um, go ahead and bring this over and this is temporary. We're not keeping these. I don't plan on keeping these here. This is just to help me uh, get some roofing started. I'm gonna go downstairs real quick. Kind of curious to see how this is gonna work out. Oh, we could have pulled back even more, I guess. Perfect. 
Now, how is this going to work out for a staircase? Because I'm, like, super excited and happy about it. And I can't believe it worked out like this. And I really hope this works out really well. Whoa! Uh, it's all right. We may have... To, I don't know. I can't really pull this back anymore, which is a little bit of a bummer. We may have to twist it just a little bit. Just a little bit like that, and then we... We have our staircase up into our cabin. That's so nice. That's actually so nice. I'm gonna go, yeah, we'll go ahead and put some right here too so that we're not falling through the crack. All right, feeling better, feeling better. All right, so one thing I've really enjoyed doing lately. Yeah, let's go ahead with that height. You know, I might raise things up a little bit. There we go. All right. So I've been doing this to help me with my roofing lately. And I really like it. It truly, truly helps out. And it always gives me that cool overhanging look that I've been liking lately. So we're going to start there. We're going to go with the lower roof here. We're going to go ahead and try and bring these together. Just like that. And the center snap. Bam! Just like that. Beautiful. That works out. That looks great, too. Um, under here, let's go ahead and zoom in. Uh, I'm using these little one piece floorings, the one by ones, and we're just going to drag those over. Ah! Ooh. Okay. <laughs> we're good. Okay, we're just going to drag those over like that. And I haven't decided yet if I'm keeping the little square. I, I'm, I may keep the little uh, wood beams in there, the little one-piece wood beams. Those might stay. Uh, that might be more of a decoration phase. We'll see how I feel about it. But for now, we're going to build up like that. hi yeah. <laughs> Look at this place come together already. All right, let's go ahead and build this roof right over. Oh yeah, super simple. Look at that. That looks great already. And we've got a nice little porch out here. Beautiful. Get rid of that at least. And that makes it stick out a little bit of the front too. You know, so uh, this isn't supposed to be here, you know, so it's going to hang. Got a little bit of front overhang, a little bit of side overhang. I love that. It feels and looks so good. All right, let's go ahead and get the rest of the roof going in this house. So roofing, I was going to do... We're gonna go ahead and start roofing the same way. We need to get outside. Ah, there we go. And I'm gonna build myself a little something to walk on out here. There we go. We're gonna do the same thing we did over there. We're just gonna go ahead and take this. Go here. Yeah, I want a little lower. We're gonna keep things a little squat. Uh, and let's go ahead and whoa, camera. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn that that way. I don't think we need it to go that way because I think I am just going to go the one direction with this. Bam. And then we have the same same kind of little overhang that we had down there. Going to go ahead and build this out again. All the way down. And we've got a little bit of overhang here on the side too. I love that. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the back here, I think. Oh, we don't have a workbench out here. What? How is that possible? All right, fine. We'll just toss one out here. Okay, now we're going to start with a 26 degree roof here in front. Let's go ahead and build that all the way over. And if I've done this right, then one of these eye corners should fit perfectly right here. Yeah, look at that. That's perfect. It doesn't look like it because it's over. It's half overhung, but we've got it right there. Bam, snapped in perfectly just like that. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right, let's try and keep bringing this over, though. We do need this pattern to keep going. We don't we don't want it here in the middle of this roofing. We're going to remove it, but we do want it. Come on. There it is. But we do want it out here on the edge. Ah! And we do need to build up with it. So we're only going to do that once, and then we're going to switch to the 45-degree roofing, and we're going to start building up with it and get a much more harsh slope here. 
All right, instead of using uh, a corner there, we're just going to go ahead. Yep, there we go. We're going to do that half snap again, just like we did on the other side. And then the top does need to be built in again, in my opinion. I like it to just be built right in. It's going to stick into the house just a tiny bit. It's really no big deal to me. I like it. Uh, and then we're going to try seal this in real nice with just some angles like this. I've taken what I've taken is of just the 26 degree roof and I've turned it one degree and it actually is snapping into place right here. So we're going to go ahead and just snap it in right there. Get a gentle corner. There we go. I found the two similar snap points. So we've got just a little bit of an angle there where they meet and that looks pretty great. Actually, that, that seems pretty seamless. Let's go ahead and continue up with the 45 degree roofing. All right, actually psyched myself out. These aren't supposed to be here, and we're not connecting down here. I um, actually had this as part of the original plan anyway, so I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I just got kind of in the flow and was trying to prepare for something that I wasn't going to build here. Uh, this wall is actually going to continue all the way up to meet with these. Um, So yeah, actually, we just need to bring them up to meet right there. No, I think we need one more. And then it'll overhang just a little. Yep, that's how high we're going. So I'm going to go ahead and start building up this wall. And in order to make that easier on us, I'm going to go ahead and build myself a little, a little bit of scaffolding. Check this out. If you haven't done stuff like this for building for yourself uh, before, you should start. Because just making something super simple, even like this... Uh, and of course we're going to tear it down. You know, this isn't staying. This is all in the way, but, uh, just for building, this makes life so much easier. There we go. All right. Let me build this back wall all the way up. Okay. We've gone up even higher now. <laughs> ah, let's keep going. I'm going to try and figure out exactly how high we're going here. So, yeah, that's the height. That's the height we're looking for right there, then. Bada boom. All right. Let's go ahead. We're almost there. We almost got it. Oh, okay. Oh, nope. <laughs> almost. Hey there we go. Ah, there's the top. There we go. Every time I do this, I get I get a lot of comments from people who are like, you should just put stairs into the roofing. And I'm like, ah, you can do that for sure. It definitely helps. I, I, I don't mind the goofing. I like it goofing around a little bit, if you couldn't tell. All right. That is awesome. That's exactly what we needed. I guess we could actually technically build it up one more. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, that would actually seal, seal us in, wouldn't it? And it's not sticking through the roof. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, actually. Let's go ahead and just add one more. Quite a wall back here, actually. Like, it's quite the quite the back end. Very flat. Should probably build the dirt up a little bit more. I guess we could build in and make another level, but I'm not going to. I think this is, this is already pretty awesome the way I have it. Okay, it needs support. We might be able to do that just by uh, finishing up the sides here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start adding the logs up the sides. It's not sticking out, is it? I guess it would make it easier. We just went ahead and started with these. That sunlight is terrible right now for this. Here we go. All right, so there is no snap point here. This is all, I'm not even holding shift. This is just free placement. But I am going to go ahead and just free place this one right here. We're going to go ahead and build that all the way up. I think that fit pretty perfectly, actually. Look at that. Yeah, that really did seem to fit rather perfectly. I like that a lot, actually. That's amazing. All right, now let's try and build the logs over as best we can. go yeah that actually worked out pretty well we sunk that one pretty deep 
what I'm watching when I'm sinking here, I'll, I'll pop that one out so you guys can really see what I'm doing. I'll try to zoom in as best I can to here. Uh, okay, I am holding shift here and see how it kind of pops out the front right there. That's our free placement. It does look like it actually has like a really nice snap point, but just for this example, I'll do the free placement. So what I'm watching is, do you see the diag the 45 degree diagonal and how this board keeps coming in and out of it? And see how the one that I'm touching beneath it is kind of highlighted and has a little bit poking through. That's really all I'm looking for is trying to match it sort of a little bit. So we're going to pull it back so it's not showing through the front roof. And then we're going to pull it out toward me until it looks pretty similar to the one beneath it. Bam. And we're sealed in just like that. We're going to do that for the rest of this. And then we're going to go and do the same thing on the other side and make sure that we're nice and sealed up. We're actually getting really lucky. They're doing a lot of over-snapping all by themselves, which makes my life a lot easier. Uh, free placement is not very hard, and I really do enjoy it, and I think it works for, for a lot of things. But if you can get it to snap by itself, it's just less, less work for you, you know? And we're going to call it there. There we go. We're all sealed up. Look at that. Look at that little box. <laughs> actually... I don't know, we may make some kind of like exit out here. That would be kind of cool to come out of the second story and just like walk out this way. That would be really cool. I'm getting way too elaborate. This was supposed to be a really simple log cabin and now I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, but but let's get in there and keep keep going. I gotta do the same thing. I'm just gonna stand here. Oh, look at this. We are already kind of like accidentally popped something in here, huh? That's nice, gives me a little platform to work on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing we did out back right here. Um, but you saw how we did it out back, and this is just going to be a lot of repetitive placements. So I'm just going to knock this out really quick. I'll bring you back in just a couple minutes when I've got this taken care of. Oh, that would be a bad idea. Yeah, there we go. Again, scaffolding. Always build yourself something to work on. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Oh, yeah, look at that. That looks great. I'm going to go ahead and just tear this out right now so I can walk in and out a little easier. There we go. Man, this looks incredible, actually. I don't think that actually added any support to our uh, to our ceilings here. I don't think we can do without that one. I don't think we can. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop this one out just so we can walk through here. Let's go ahead and destroy that and see what it looks like. What happens? I think it's going to mess things up. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, so what we're going to do instead, we're going to try and get this, there we go, just like that. We're going to overlap it forward. Perfect. Plop a few of those in there to seal it up real good. Sink this one in manually. Beautiful. I like that. All right. <clears throat> Now, we just got to figure out what to do with this, which really shouldn't be that hard, I don't think. We're going to get this. We're going to figure it out. There we go. I don't know if this will help with the uh, support problem, but I was going to do this all the way along just to give the next floor kind of a, a little bit of a support. It does look like we are kind of at an odd number across, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and... Just go. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and overlap it. I never have. I never have too ba big an issue with overlapping. It always seems to work out pretty good. So we're gonna we're gonna work with it and see how it goes. Well, that's gonna stick way too far through. There we go. It's kind of a it's kind of a workaround, but I'm gonna I'm gonna live with it. I'm gonna go ahead and stack that again. I'll show you guys. So I'm putting this one down, probably about a third, and then we're putting this one down as low as I can get it, which is always half. And then that kind of turns into a crappy little staircase that leads up onto these and gets me up here just fine. Look at this place. Beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and seal that in a little more. Beautiful. Love it. Not sure if that actually gave us any more support up here, but let's go ahead and try it. Oh my gosh, it seems to be holding. I actually think it's going to hold, which is funny because we're about to chop it out anyway. 
Uh, yeah, these three right here are going. Uh, and we are going to build out a nice little window here. Ah, there, ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> there we go. Oh, very nice. All right, again, I'm going to see if I can try. I don't know. This one's going to be really tight. Oh, it's not going to want to stay anyway. It doesn't feel like it has the support, does it? That's fine. That's fine. I knew it was going to be tricky, which is why I just need to go ahead and add in. There we go. We do want to keep up the log cabin appearance. Yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and outline it like that. There we go. There we go. Always difficult to get the crisscross pattern going on for some reason, but there we go. That looks good. All right, now we just need to build it back into the house. There we go, just like that. Let's see if we can get this little top piece back on without upsetting it too much. I hope it holds. And seal it in just like that and we're gonna seal this up just a little bit and create a nice little window look at that beautiful <laughs> oh man yeah I'm gonna have to change time of day so we can have a different view but I felt like this again I felt like this time of day was really perfect just for this this build uh, and, and the area didn't want to blind everybody Awesome. All right, let's take off some of these extra frills and take a look at the shell we've got so far. I think I got a few more things I want to do to it before we call it good and I start getting to the decoration phase. I do think one of the first things we need to do is finish this whole idea down here. Uh, this whole area is really cool, and I'm really happy with the way it came out, but it does look like it needs to be raised up. Um, I don't want to go quite flush uh, with the ground, but I do want to follow this staircase. There we go. I guess we could bring it down just a tiny bit more, huh? No, 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 no. I'm going to keep it a little higher. So we're going to build it up just a little bit. There we go. This is the this is the height I'm working with. Yeah, let's go ahead. And it's going to be really easy to do because we're going to have support on both sides. So you will have a little bit of a hollow floor in here, but still. You're going to have plenty of space to build in here in just a minute. It's going to be awesome. Possum, the possum. All right, let me build this floor over. All right, there was a tiny little left here. We're just going to fill that in with the tiny little one by ones until it's all, yeah, all filled in just like that. And then we're going to pull it forward just a little bit. That right there feels good. We're going to leave it right there. We may even go back with a little bit of stone. And see, I think I think that would be that that would look really solid if we did that. Um, man, yeah, this is gonna be really cool. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Yeah, there we go. Oh man, yeah, that looks awesome. And we have a nice little entrance right there. And yeah, I may build that in with some stone ore, guys. We could be cool. Huh. Heck yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. 
Oh, that's that's really something. Why do I love that so much? Why do I love that so much? All right, let's give this a little bit more support and weight to it because I kind of think it would look better. Yeah, if it was built down into the ground. All right, little stone goes a long way. We're going to try and be sneaky. There we go. It's kind of engulfed it. Not completely, though. So what I'm doing here for the free placement is uh, just watching the top. Right about there, maybe. That feels pretty good. Yeah, that just adds so much weight to it. It feels really good. Let's go ahead and try to do the same thing right here. Very nice. Yeah, that just adds a lot more weight to it, doesn't it? It feels awesome. We may even do something kind of similar up here. Uh, just kind of throw in one of these as low as we can all the way across. Oh, yeah, actually. What's that do to it out here? Oh yeah, that gives it a lot more, it just gives it a little more weight, a little more dimension. I really like that, I'm gonna leave it. Let's keep, let's wrap the bottom of the house with it for sure. Wow, just flopping all over the place. <laughs> okay, I think the last thing we need to do is cut out. Oh, oh yeah, the door would be up on the uh, upper, upper level. I thought hey, it's going to be really cool to have another doorway leading out here. Um, this is such a unique little house, actually. Yeah, right here, I think. Oh, yeah. We'll go ahead and build the dirt up just a little bit here and build a little walkway out. <laughs> Man, what a house. This thing has so much character. Like, it's actually kind of crazy. I'm really in love with it. <laughs> Probably make myself another little porch right here with this little staircase just coming right off the side. I don't know why I like that so much, but that is so awesome. Look at that. That's fantastic. What a cool little house. This house is going to have so much character when I'm done. Ooh, we built that up. I hope that didn't actually like go into the house. Let's go check. Why wouldn't I just take the other way around and in? <laughs> no, it didn't. Oh, wow. Oh, there's all, there's so much to do. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just cut out some windows, and I'll roof this little porch. But the frame is pretty much done, everybody. And it is not going to end up perfectly where we want it to. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and build it right over into the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> ah. I'm going to go ahead and go a third time. Set it up just like that. And then give ourselves some railings and build up. <laughs> there we go. We went with some free placement right there because it is getting a little. It's getting a little wonky. We're getting. We've we've kind of just gone. I think we've just gone and done too much. <laughs> but it looks so good. I mean, I really am digging this look. I think it looks amazing. Nice. Got a little upstairs exit. <laughs> That's so cool. And go downstairs into the little middle living area. That's really cool. We're gonna window off a little bit of this. We've got an outdoor porch, and of course you can go back downstairs into this lower area. This place is so flipping cool. All right, let's just toss on a few windows. Um, we're gonna make them pretty small. Uh, we don't want to go too crazy. We don't have a lot of room to work with, but I definitely do want at least one big window right here. We're gonna make it pretty big. I say big, and that's about as big as we can make it, unfortunately. Um, I say unfortunately. Why unfortunately? I think it's awesome, actually. Let's 
Let's go ahead and make a really big window. I'm hoping everything else we've done has added enough support everywhere. We won't lose any roofing over this, but yeah, look at that. That looks fantastic. And I want to make this look more like a, a window by sealing us in just a little bit more. So we're going to we're gonna take a little bit of our, our view away here, and I'm just going to outline it with these wood beams just to give it kind of a really finished look. Kind of, I want that to happen, but I want these to be sunken in just a little bit more if I can get them that way. All right, so that's where it's supposed to go. How about right there? Nope, a little higher than that. There we go. That way I still get that beam look I'm looking for, the outline. But this way, we're taking up as little of the window as possible still. Awesome. I think that looks really good. Let's check it on the outside. Yeah, that just makes it look more like a window. Like, it just makes it look more complete. And it's a really long window. I think it would be really cool to throw one of these on either side. Just like this. Kind of sink them into the wall just a little bit. I don't know why, but I just think that looks awesome. Hope it doesn't look too tacky from the outside. Let's go downstairs and check out what it looks like from the outside. No, yeah, I want to keep it. I think it looks great. Uh, also, do want a window on this side, so let's go ahead and make us a nice little tall box window on this side. Let's go ahead and seal this up again before we lose any structural integrity. There we go. I may have to cut a little bit of that uh, dirt down a little bit just to make this stand out just a little bit better. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to go ahead and like box this in just to kind of outline it. Yeah. So what I'm thinking now for this window, we're going to get rid of that. And then we're going to go ahead and try and play off of this a little bit. Beautiful. And then we do want to try and build out the roof just to give the window itself its own little overhang. There we go, something like that. I may goof around with it a little more. Yeah, that's really not doing what I wanted it to. I may goof around with it a little bit more off camera on the decoration phase, really try to get this to look like something spectacular. Right about there. Nope. Ah, there we go. I found the pro. There was just a tiny little snap, tiny little half snap there that was driving me nuts and I couldn't figure out why or how it wasn't working the way I wanted it to. My goodness. There we go. Now that looks good. We jump back inside. Yeah, we got a little bit more of a covered roof. I'll have to cut that out for sure to get some more view there. I'm going to go ahead and copy the same exact window on this side. I've had a few people ask me for decoration phase videos, and I mean, I'm, 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 I'm leaning toward it again. I guess I could try and do another one. Uh, I probably won't do it for this one. I don't really feel like I have the time to, to get this one in. Uh, life is just busy. Um, I really want to get this one out and then get to working on uh, some actual playthrough episodes and content for that. But um, I don't know. Again, if you want to see decoration phase episodes, just keep letting me know. Uh, the more voices and the more comments I see about it, the more likely I am to do it. Honestly, I'll, I'll start putting forth the effort if everybody wants to see it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch the decoration phase for this one right now. This is going to be a lot of fun being able to decorate this one. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Oh, you know what we don't have on this, actually, that I do need to put on here? is a chimney. Okay, first things first. We want a hearth, because the hearth is pretty much what we're cooking with at this point in the game. Bam, so we're gonna go ahead and just toss that in place just like that. And then we gotta build out to it. Perfect. Now we're going to rearrange this just a little bit. I'm going to slide it just a little bit more centered into this. Yeah, there we go. That feels like a better snap right there. That feels good. All right, and then this just has to be built 
up. And we're going to use some of the bigger walls just to move this along a little quicker. Let me go see how much that's sticking through the roof still. Again, not too much more than the average than the actual chimney itself, so I'm not going to worry about it. Cuz the chimney is coming up. And then we are going to try and make the chimney smaller now that we are up this high. We're going to follow this pattern just a little bit taller because we're actually probably getting pretty close to the maximum height we can use with stone anyway. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just do this one more time. Very cool. All right. Now we're just going to cap it. I think we can build up one more just like this without any problems. And we're going to go ahead just for a little bit of decoration. We're just going to go ahead and add these little pieces in just like this there we go just ended up going with a normal wooden roofing and you know it actually doesn't look too bad get rid of that yeah, that actually looks pretty good yeah there we go that's a pretty hefty looking chimney <laughs> not bad let's go light it up and see if it works pretty well Yeah, all right, it's looking pretty good. And the fire's holding pretty well. Very nice. That looks fantastic, guys. This house is so fun and has so much character. I need to get to decorating. There's so much to do. Like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and start on that. And if you wanna see more decorations or decoration builds, keep, keep leaving comments, like I said. Uh, I'm probably just repeating myself. You can barely even see that chimney from back here, but I guarantee it looks awesome. I know it does. I think this little cabin is so awesome, actually, guys. This cabin has a lot of character and a lot a lot of stuff that I want to bring to life and show in detail. Let me get to decorating. Hope you guys enjoyed the frame. Hope it was easy to follow. Here come the flybys right at you. I hope the place looks awesome now that I've got it all decorated. Hope you love it. Let's go to the flybys. Here we go.
Whoa, those flybys were a lot of fun. I hope that doesn't make anybody too car sick. I really enjoy doing a really fast flyby right up to the finish there. I really think that's really fun, especially trying to get just like really close to things. Kind of feels like flying a drone around inside my world. It's a lot of fun, actually. I'm sorry if it's still a little too crazy, but I have a lot of fun doing it. Hope you guys enjoyed this build. There is a decoration phase video coming out next Tuesday. That'll be next Tuesday's video. So you'll get to see how I decorated this thing. I hope you guys are excited for that. Had a couple people asking, and I figured this build was actually kind of small enough to where I can make a pretty succinct, shorter decoration video. I probably won't do this for the bigger videos. But anyway, I'm rambling too much. Let's go ahead on our nighttime walkthrough. I had a lot of fun shaping the landscape here. Um, it feels good to be out of the swamps uh, and have all this different uh, ground level to play with. So everything is just a little wonky. Everything's just a little... Uh, you know, smooth path everywhere. I was going to spawn some wolves in here. I ended up not doing it. I forgot. Uh, but this is a nice little wolf pen, I think. Or a boar pen. You know, any kind of pen you want to keep in here. I think that's really cool. Uh, we're going to go to the outer buildings as much as possible first. So, it didn't really do too much out here. Just a little bit of a, a sitting area and a really nice little entrance to our underground area in our uh, lower, lower house area. I really love that. But let's go this way first. Um, Oh, I got a. I guess you guys haven't seen a lot of these outhouses. I've been hanging out in them and talking about them in the build and the decoration phase. So, um, we did a lot of this in the decoration phase. We made this uh, little outhouse here. It's all by itself. We'll go ahead and just show you exactly where it is. The wolf little pet cabin down there and this little hunting cabin are both by themselves on separate little platforms. And uh, I've been having a lot of fun using these cloaks as doorways. Um, I really like that. I've been using it a lot. I do it a little bit in my playthrough. Um, and it feels really good to do it here in the build through too. And this cabin definitely had the red theme going on. We got red shoot everywhere. This is my hunter's cabin. So we have a fully upgraded workbench. Well, to this point in the biomes, uh, we have a, a really strong workbench. And then just like a nice little cozy sitting area. Went kind of crazy with the crystal. And I really like that spot. Again, we'll take one last peek inside. I really like this place. It's super cozy. I like having some of the natural uh, stone uh, mountainside in the background too. That feels really cool. There is no fire here, so I think my guy is a little cold. Um, so the only thing we don't have in that house is a fire to keep us warm. But it's not too bad. It's not too far away from the house. It wouldn't be too hard to hang a brazier or something up anyway. Uh, we'll go ahead and go in the house this way. So we've seen, you know, most of the outside, the pet house, that house. And you can. You can go in through the basement down there, or you can loop all the way around to this nice path, which reads, leads all the way up here. We have fermenter up here, little catch basin nice little spot to sit and for the house I went with the blue I thought blue looked pretty good this is the upper level of the house so we're up here with the uh yeah we're up here with the bedroom that's right the bedroom's up here really like the glass and the windows and the way it just makes everything shine had a lot of fun just putting up a bunch of trophies a bunch of decorative stuff not too much craziness but uh you know we went we went kind of crazy I guess I guess we did but it just looks too cool Yellow over here in the corner for me, for the hermits. We like yellow around here. All right, let's go down to the main floor. So the main floor is really cool. Uh, we have our kitchen here. Really nice and cozy kitchen. Nice and easy to work on. Yeah, if you guys want to see this in more detail, definitely go check out the decoration phase because I do all of this nice and slowly, mostly nice and slow. Uh, we'll walk over to that half of the house in a minute. I'm mostly just taking in this little area here. And then we're going to go out on the porch. Yeah, this place is super cozy. I really like hanging excess amounts. I don't know why, but hanging all of these things to dry around, it just makes it look so busy and so cool. And I like that we can put wolf meat down with some normal meat and the butcher's knife. That's really cool. Lots of muck shake. That stuff's pretty gross, but also delicious. I think I drink it a lot in my playthroughs for, uh, yeah. Is it muck shake? It is muck shake, right? Am I saying that right? Yeah, muck shake. Okay, yeah, it's muck shake. I don't know why I want to keep calling it like slime slime shake or slime mold or something <laughs> uh, anyway so yeah when you leave the house you can walk out this way and we have this nice little setup out here nice little smithing and uh, smelting area and it's really compact really small it doesn't really look like a whole lot can get to us from down here really enjoy this little outer area we've got here it's kind of an afterthought but it worked out really well green uh, for the swamps you know for slime and this is super compact in here we do have a nicely leveled up uh, level 7 in here <laughs> ah, geez. Man, I'm just having trouble talking. Let me say this again. I have a nice level 7 forge here. <laughs> it, it's got all the additions and all the pieces. And I just really like this room. 
Like this little tiny cottage out here. This is really nice. Super cozy. We are getting a fire bonus out here. We do have cauldrons. Or not cauldrons. Uh, hanging braziers. Man, this place just came out so nice. Again, the front porch is really nice. And you can overlook pretty much the rest of the property. <laughs> and it's just so nice. It's just so good. All right. Back in the house. Walking back to this living room area. So I had trouble getting fire all in through, throughout the house. Right here in the middle, for some reason, seemed to have trouble. But we have fire now. I guess I could turn on the... Uh, yeah, we do have fire throughout the whole house. I'm going to leave that off because it just feels comfy to walk around like this. I just set out a bunch of food and a bunch of tables and a bunch of decorations. It was just fun just to throw everything up. Uh, make this place look really comfortable. And it does, man. This feels like the coolest kind of coziest log cabin. Like... This is so nice. And the basement is so cool. So we step down into the basement and we have our dirt wall basement. Bam! We chop this out with the pickaxe. Really fun to build um, shelving into these walls and everything and really just get this looking super cozy. I mean, this is just so nice in here. I love this to death. This little corner table came out really well. All of this is just so nice, guys. All of it came out really nice. Walk right back out here. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I do want to go back in the living room and show you guys the light coming in. Uh, from the sun because it just looks awesome but that that's the whole build man i i hope you guys like it i like this one this one came out a lot cooler than i thought and i hope you guys like the name too finally came up with a good name for it we're gonna call this or uh, well the title already says it but it took me until just now to come up with it but cabin by the drakes you know drake side cabin that's the best uh, Drake side cabin. Yeah, that's going to be the one right there. Bam. Thumbnail it. <laughs> Drake side cabin. I hope you guys like this one. I'm going to go ahead and let it wrap up right there. Oh, ooh, hot. A little too much. A little too much. Roll. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. Ooh, well, that got a little crazy. Oh, yeah. Look at the sunlight coming through here. I just love the sunlight and the crystals and being able to look outside and just, yeah, look at the time of day. I just love that. That looks so nice. It is a little bright on the mountain, you know, but that's okay. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling way too much. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. I hope you're looking forward to the decoration phase video. And I'll show you, like, it's really not much of a process. It's just a stream of thought and nonsense. But I hope you enjoy it. I'm looking forward to cutting it together after this. Yeah, this cabin turned into so much more than I thought it was going to. I really started out with just a simple cabin in mind. And this turned into some multi-tiered, multi-leveled awesomeness. I really love this cabin. I hope you guys do too. Anyway, before I go talking too, too, too much more, I'll seriously let it go ahead and wrap up right there. If you did have fun hanging out with me today, do me a favor. Smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to continue the adventures in the build through. Uh, yeah, a lot more mountain builds coming your way soon. Anyway, everybody, I hope you're having a great day. Have a great rest of your day. And here's hoping I see all of you in the next build through video. I hope to see you there. And until then, have fun in your own Valheim adventures. See you guys.